subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Sure, I'd be happy to help you with that. Title, A Beginner's Guide to Using Pickle, .pkl, Files in Python Introduction Pickle is a Python module that allows for easy serialization and deserialization of Python objects. Serialization is the process of converting a Python object into a byte stream, while deserialization is the reverse process converting a byte stream back into a Python object. Pickle files, often with the extension .pkl, are a common way to store serialized Python objects. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use Pickle to save and load data in Python. Step 1, Import the Pickle module. First, let's import the Pickle module in your Python script or Jupyter notebook. Step 2, Save data to a Pickle file. Now, let's create some sample data and save it to a Pickle file. In this example, we'll use a simple dictionary. This code snippet creates a dictionary, opens a file named data.pkl in binary write mode, wb, and then uses the pickle.dump method to serialize and save the data to the file. Step 3, load data from a pickle file. To load the data back into Python from the pickle file, use the following code. This code snippet opens the data.pkl file in binary read mode, RB, and uses the pickle.load method to deserialize and load the data back into Python. The loaded data is then printed. Conclusion Using pickle files in Python is a convenient way to save and load serialized data. Whether you're working with complex data structures or simple dictionaries, Pickle provides a straightforward solution for data persistence. Remember to handle file operations cautiously, especially when dealing with external files. Feel free to adapt this tutorial to your specific needs and explore other features of the Pickle module for more advanced use cases. ChatGPT